Um, I want to get into your touring resume really quick because this is really wild. Zach Brown band, I think for three years now. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be doing dates with Trisha Yearwood this fall. You've been on the road with Kenny Chesney, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill. The list goes on and on. Jimmy Buffett, of course. I think from the outside, maybe for a casual fan, they think every country show is a country show. Do you find different flavors when you go on the road with different people? Absolutely, and especially a lot of the artists that I've had the privilege of touring with have their own kind of lifestyle brand associated with it, like Jimmy or Zach um, or even Kenny. Like They have their own particular brand that's beyond music. It, it comes out of the music, but it's really like their values and their personality and the things that are meaningful and important to them that they've kind of built this whole culture around like the parrot heads you know or the zamily or the no shoes nation like there's emotions that are associated with their music for the fans um and like kenny's tour next year is called chillaxification like but that really is an emotional word like people associate people will save up all their money and go and they feel um those feelings of freedom and and letting go and coming together and it, i mean it sounds cheesy but it's like a whole peace love thing and it yeah, really is community. powerful yeah it's very very powerful so especially being able to open for artists who really have that deep relationship and connection with um with their fan bases um is something i've learned a lot from yeah because what they stand for is is just as important as the music. It is the music. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, mentor is a term that gets thrown around a lot in music. I'm just curious, you know, that, that those are terms that have been uh, associated with you and, uh, and Zach and Jimmy. What do those two people mean to you as, a, as an artist and just growth? Well, Zach was the first person to ever take me on tour, take me under his wing. He was the first person to really go out on a limb and, and give me a huge opportunity. Um, he invited me to open two shows for him, and then I ended up staying for the whole tour and um, just took me under his wing and um, and mentored me just mostly by leading by example and taking an interest in my music and inviting me on stage to sing with him and the band. And I just really... You know, being around a big tour like that, a big amphitheater tour where there's hundreds of people, but it's the same crew every day, different place every day. It's really like summer camp. And you really, you know, it's the most fun ever. Like, it was a total dream come true for me, that first tour. Um, I just couldn't get over it. Like, I thought all my Christmases had come at once. And so you get to know all these people, and they're all a family, you know, and they're all part of, they're all an integral part of putting on this event that happens every night that inspires and uplifts like we were just talking about like millions of people over the course of the year um and so it's an amazing thing to witness like someone like zach who's at the top of that leading by example and setting the tone and the energy for everyone else who like i said there is no job that's unimportant on a big tour um and then jimmy i mean he took me on tour and then not only that but gave me a distribution deal for my album that i made and wrote a song for me called Gulf Coast Girl, which is on this EP. It's only this EP, yeah. right? And um, has just gone out of his way so many times to just be supportive of me and collaborate with me and give me a platform for his fans. And I just, I owe Zach and Jimmy basically the career that I have so far. 